Toledo, a hub of entertainment, art, and also the crossroads of America. I'm Tim McMahon, and I'm hitting the road and the open water to discover the history, culture, and fun times on Lake Erie. Join me for an adventure as I meet the people and tour the places during a memorable island getaway. This is One Tank Travel. Located in Erie County, the village that is Kelly's Island is 2,800 acres and 12 miles of shoreline beauty. There is more than one way to reach the island, and the One Tank crew and I opted for an early morning ferry ride out of Marblehead. Once we arrived, like many visitors to the island, we opted for golf carts as our mode of transportation. Before we got into the entertainment and culture that Kelly's Island has to offer, we got a history lesson on some of the unique aspects of the island, starting with the glacial grooves. The grooves are, were cut out of Columbus limestone more than uh, 15,000 years ago. They were from flowing water underneath the glacier. Um, the last glacier that was here was like a mile thick. Wow. So the tremendous amount of weight and a tremendous amount of water pressure underneath. And it, it flowed under that ice and created these grooves. These grooves are kind of unique because of that. You can see other grooves that are where rock scraped on rock, but these were cut by hydraulic power. This used to be full. It was, it was open to right, right about this tree here. This part was open and the rest was all filled in. 19, in the early 1970s, I guess islanders got together with shovels and wheelbarrows and hauled all this rock out. Is it evolving, changing? Will it change shapes, you know, as, as time goes on? Like, does it shift underneath? No, it, it's, there's a little bit of, technically, there's a little bit of rebound happening, which creates cracks, but that's from the, the release of the weight of the glacier. So that's a long period of time, but the rest of it's not going to change. It's just too hard a rock. Tourists come out here, they can't get out on the glaciers grooves, but um, they can definitely, you know, there's a walkway and walk around. Walkway all the way around it. The glaciers may have created the grooves 15,000 years ago, but the rock itself is much, much, much older. This rock is 400 million years old. It's from the Devonian period. Okay, and you can see the fossils, and that's how they know it's Devonian. Yeah, a little bit of life that's still preserved and, you know, seen now. I think that's really neat. So how often, I mean, do you have geologists looking at the, the groups often? We, we have geologists and, and paleontologists come here, have been coming here forever. I guess every fossil has been cataloged uh -huh. at one point. What is this hump here? that we're looking at. Well, this is kind of a unique feature, um, and there's several of them in here. It's called a, a whale's back. It's it's simply, and geologists call it that, so. Uh, it's a technical term. It's a technical term. It's it's simply there, it's thought that there was a rock in the, buried in the ice uh, of maybe like granite that's harder, and the water flowed around it and created this this pattern as as the water was you know rap, moving very rapidly, of course. It's just neat, and everybody seems to recognize it as a whale's back. That's really, really cool. Next, we headed to the northern part of the island and took the adventurous route to the North Shore Alvar. We don't exactly recommend this, but... But the rope's here for a reason, right? Uh, yeah, not put here by state park uh, people. So this isn't, if you come out here and tour at Kelly's Island, you will not be doing this. Does this have a specific name where we are now? This is our rock beach. It's kind of a fun place to go and look at Canada. And there's some, these are some glacial grooves back here, the, okay. the type that were uh, made by scraping. But it's just a nice, calm place. And what I think is amazing is just how clear, crystal clear and blue the water is. And it's just so unique. I didn't know this existed. It's really neat to just take it in. We're gonna go up to the Alvars? Yep. All right, so it's right up through here. The Alvar is the bedrock that's exposed and some weathering element keeps the soil off of it. 
Uh, most of this was protected um, by uh, the Department of Natural Resources, Ohio Natural Resources, uh, because it's a unique habitat. It's uh, the lake keeps the soil washed off of this, so anything that grows here is pretty tough, pretty unique. Mm -hmm. uh, there's many unique plants, and this is a very unique. It's not. It's not as unique as the glacial grooves, but it's. Uh, it's kind of one of a kind. Not far from the Alvar, and the last stop on our historic tour with Chris Ashley is a trip to Kelly's Island's past. We're at the uh, Kelly's Island Lime and Transport Crusher Building. There were two of these on the island at one time from like the 1880s through the 1920s. Wait, this might be a stupid question, but what's a crusher? When they bring the rock out of the quarries, uh -huh. it's all different sizes and they can put it through the crusher and it's essentially a, a, a plate and a big wheel. Yeah. You can see the back of the building there. They used to back railroad cars, the small railroad cars up in to dump into the crusher. And then those same cars and, and, and Shea locomotives would back underneath this right here to be loaded with the stone that either went to the lime kilns which were, are down by the where the beach is, mm -hmm. or to the a dock, which is right where our bow ramp is, to be put and uh, put on barges and sent to Cleveland. And um, a lot of it, the lime kilns, the lime was used in the steel industry. It was an important aspect to this island that also impacted places beyond the island. Oh yeah, very much so. We have so much response and so many questions about this mm -hmm. that uh, it's been kind of my my hobby. We've been clearing it out and so people can see it. You can see where the, you know, they'd back the cars under, this is just one big trough. And they could, they could open these gates to let the stone fall into the, uh, into the cars to be hauled down to the, down to the dock. You know, something that I want to touch on, there was like a, a little like city that was built up around here, correct? For people that work? The, to support this, this crusher and the quarry operation, and the, uh, uh, the the men that worked here, there were dorms all over, mm -hmm. and there was a like a store building, um, a cooper shop to make the barrels to put the lime in, and and the, there was just sort of a little city up here, a little village that was yeah. built up over time, huh? Yep. 